I'm Roosevelt Wright Jr., pastor of the Tabernacle Baptist Church, and we're getting ready for the Roof Doctor, which is going to be at the Monroe Civic Center February the 12th and the 13th. We are having a great time rehearsing and getting everything together, and we just uh, we're just having a ball talking about the Roof Doctor. This plays it takes place in 1918, and it involves when uh, three of our most prominent doctors came to Monroe during that time period. Doctor. McClanahan and doctors, uh, Dr. Miller and Dr. Johnson. When they came to town, they had to come face to face with the, with a, a root doctor who lived here at that time by the name of Emily Howard. And uh, she was part midwife, uh, part herbalist, and part voodoo. Uh, but we're going to deal with the, some of the issues that we have in our community dealing with uh, superstitions and cultures. And, and we're having a lot of fun practicing. And we, we got a few clips we're going to show you tonight. Of, um, of some of our uh, uh, rehearsals, um, bloopers, bloopers, and everything else as we get ready for the production. Now, it's going to be at the Civic Center on the 12th and the 13th. All the schools will be coming. Lesson plans have been prepared for all of the teachers, and we have music and an orchestra and everything. Some great singing going on, and we've just been having a whole bunch of fun. Forty of the area's best dancers have been assembled to put the choreography together from Saletta McClinton to get ready for the Root Doctor. They have spent countless hours since the day after Christmas preparing for the performance for next weekend. They are really putting out a lot of energy, uh, perfecting all of the steps to make these dances exciting. The Root Doctor dances will dazzle you. Dominique and Stephen Willis, two brothers, had a great ball as they practiced the songs for uh, the Root Doctor. One of them is She's Thinking About Me. It's a duet that'll just knock you out. And these fellas just had a ball practicing. I mean, we couldn't stop laughing as they as they, as they got it together. And they were in the studio getting ready for the CD. And uh, you're going to enjoy them when they put this on on the stage. They just had a ball putting it together. I see how you've been looking at my girl, man. What makes you think that girl belongs to you, man? You buying her all kind of stuff for nothing. Well, at least I can't afford to get her something. I see. <laughs> so stop doing that, man. So you can't do that. <laughs> so stop doing that. Why are you bringing that? At my girl, man, what makes you think that girl belongs to you, man? You buying her all kind of stuff for nothing. Well, at least I can't afford to get her something. I see how you've been trying to get my girl, man. What makes you think that girl belongs to you? From the moment I said hello Well, too bad because she don't want you no more Oh, you must be a fool to I think she it. choose you over me hey. I know she just can't keep her eyes off of me I am a man, that's what she will never be Even when she She used to always burn it. Well, in the play, I've learned that burning the hair, well, cutting it and burning it, strips someone of their power. But, you know, we were also taught that there was only one power, and uh, that power was God. 
So God just overruled all of that and, you know, the curses, the hexes, God is the only one that could curse. But people today still believe that there are curses that people can put on you. Things like sprinkling salt or sugar around a person's house to, you know, for certain things. And uh, I think it's something about red pepper sprinkling around the man's shoes so he won't go to another woman. <laughs> Like uh, having a broom swept across your feet, uh, so said you're going to jail or something like that. And the spaghetti, uh, I thought that it was kind of oh, yeah. odd that women actually use their red sauce. Uh, <laughs> Makes you not want to eat spaghetti. <laughs> True. Blade James leads a cast of elementary students who are bedazzled by the witch. And they sing a song, and Blade had a great time learning his uh, selections as he leads the song, She's a Witch. She's always casting spells that make the people cry. She makes a boo that smells, and we know the reason why. She's a witch. She's a witch. A mean and ugly witch. She got us in a fix. My mom and... Uh, and in previous generations, they're really careful when they comb their hair about what they do with their hair after they take it out the comb. You know, go flush that down the toilet or something. Anything, just no, make sure you no. say your mama's name so they can see that. What's her name? What's her name? Shirley Lewis. Shirley Lewis. Okay, no. Yeah, but they, they and they've always been like this. My grandmother was like that. Even mm -hmm. they they would sit down and press hair and comb hair out. They you couldn't play with their hair. Once they got through with their hair, it was they were real superstitious. You know something about don't let the blackbirds get it so don't just go outside <laughs> and, and, and seats or you don't have to get the count early because you don't have reserved seats at Thursday night performance and the Friday night performance each one starts at 7:30 at the Monroe Civic Center so you want to come on and enjoy yourself because we're going to have a great time as we look at the uh, New Orleans voodoo and all of the things that we kind of believe about strange things as we get ready for the root doctor <laughs> 